Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am currently working with the new KS Craft October release of the Stackable Locker Box. Now this box is so versatile in so many ways. You can make so many different versions using this and I am just going to show you what I have discovered and also what I am putting together at the moment. And later on, I will be sharing with you my completed project. So with the stackable locker box set, you get these lovely pieces that is just really easy to put together. But if you are quite new to crafting and you look at a set like this, you could feel a little bit overwhelmed on where to begin. So I really wanted to do a walkthrough for those of you who are quite new to crafting. And I can definitely tell you that anybody can do this. So with this set, you are going to have to start off with the base pieces. So anything that has stitched details like this, these are the add-on pieces. So you need to think about this as a next step. So first step you do is cut out these pieces here. So you have this, which is the door part. And I'm going to show you how that door part looks. So the door part looks like this. See, when you cut it out, you get that little flap on the side with the score line where you're going to glue. So that's what this piece is. So you need one of this. Then you have this piece here, which is part of the very front part that looks like this, okay? So without the door part, so it's gonna look like that. Can you see? And there's the score line where you're going to be adding glue here later on. So you need one of this. Then this is for the bottom and the top. So you need to cut out two of this then this one here is for the back and for left and the right side so you need three pieces of this so that's what i really wanted to mention and when i cut out all of the pieces i started gluing them in different way than how i have it here to show you and i discovered that this is a very easy and most fastest way to put the stackable locker box together. And so I wanted to show you what I do. So with the very bottom piece and the top piece, so I start from the, um, the part that's going at the top. So then I add the glue to the inside piece then I add the very front door piece, the door paper, see? I glue that onto the very top part of the, the base, this one here. Then I add the back piece. So this is going to be the back piece. So I add another back piece to the bottom part of this top piece here. Then I add the very bottom piece bottom part of the box like this. So then you have a long rectangular piece here. Then what I'm going to do now is I am going to add glue to this flap here. So when you join it up like this, you can put it flat on the desk and then just you know do this to make sure that all the glues on there nicely now i'm going to do the last part of my rectangular piece glue it outside now the reason why i decided to glue it outside instead of inside is that i discovered that by doing it this way it feels much more sturdy and stronger so i decided to do this so if you are, when you are choosing your pattern paper, you just need to make sure that you are choosing very similar color tones for your base. If you are not using a plain cardstock, see, I like using my pattern paper. So I went with all of my pattern paper that has the similar color tone, as you can tell. I went with lots of reds and the pinks and a bit of white but mainly red and pink feel. 
Most of the pattern paper I chose is not particularly designed for Christmas, but I love using any collection throughout the year. Whatever color that works for my project, that is what I go for. Okay, so then you have this. So then this, the right side and the left side looks like this at the moment. It's all hollow. But what you do now is you use your side flaps. See, I've folded the side flaps. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add glue to here. Okay. I am using my new favorite glue. This is from Expressit Company here in Australia. I have been very fortunate to be able to try these products as um, part of their creator team. And my um, work is going to be featured in January 2025 on their Instagram page. And I'm very, very grateful for that. But at the same time, I get to experience their products and I discovered how great this glue is. I absolutely love it. It's not runny, so I can have full control. I really love it. And I can like spread it. Now, because I'm doing the video, I can't really see what I'm doing too good. <laughs> okay, I can see that the glue is all on there. So then here, what I do is I just use this. I don't add any glue to this yet. What I do is I just put glue on the four sides and I put it on like this. And you just have to do this to get the glue to hold on to the paper. See? This, this method for me, I found it to be so much easier and faster process and, less it, and it doesn't give you a headache doing it this way. This is what I really wanted to share. So then you have this, you guys. Now, the back flap you can glue later when this part is stuck on there nicely. So now we turn it to the other side and then we glue this bit here. this all right see what i mean it's just so much faster process to do it this way and i just really wanted to share with you guys i love sharing with you guys my experience now once this is all glued down you are now going to add glue to here but as a crafter, everybody has their own special method of doing things. I am just simply sharing with you guys what I find it to be easier. It doesn't mean you have to do it exactly my way. Now, Hannah from KS Craft has also done a wonderful tutorial explaining all of the steps. And I will have her tutorial down in my description area as well. So you guys can decide which way is better for you as a crafter. All I'm doing is I am just sharing with you guys my experience of how it works better for me. And this is the way I discovered that it's less frustrating for me. So I am just showing you guys how I am doing it. So then once this is glued down, your next step is it also comes with this stitched frame, which you can choose to add or not. But I have decided to add it here. I am using a pink pearlescent cardstock and I am just going to add some glue on there. Then I put this frame on here. Check. So this, so you just gotta be a little bit patient when you're gluing down thin strips to make sure that it's holding on to the surface area that you wanna glue it to. So then I have this. So um, another thing I wanna add is when you're choosing your pattern paper with the stitch details, think about how you wanna use the stackable locker box. Are you going to be just making one 
or are you going to be making several to stack on top of each other? For example, if you are making three and you want to stack it another one on top of this and another one on top, you wouldn't really be needing to cut three of the top layering piece. You would only need one because you're going to be layering two on top. If you're only making one, of course you need to have layering pieces for the top, the sides, the front, and the back, and things like that. So my very first one I made was this one here. I started making this and I started gluing down the, the layering part for each side. Then I realized, hang on a minute, Soleil, are you just making one or are you going to be making a stackable project? Then I said to myself, oh my gosh, I need to stop cutting the layering pieces. I need to make all of my locker boxes first and then decide how many pattern papers, um, how many layering pieces I need to cut out. So I want to share with you guys my... So this is the uh, side layering piece. So you use this for the two sides and one at the back. And this is the door part. And the door part also gives you extra bit that you can layer on here to give it that real 3D locker feel. But I decided to not use that. Um, the locker set also gives you all of these. So there's like two different locker parts. It also gives you a number set. And what I did with my number set is I used double-sided tape to add to my glitter foam sheet. And then I cut out my numbers like this to add number pieces onto my locker door. See there? And I love the dimension it gives. I love how it stands out, but it's not so in your face. So what I am doing, you guys, I want to show you is this. Ta-da! So I'm going to show you what I am doing. I haven't glued anything on yet because I am going to... I'm going to show you how it's going to look. So it's going to basically look like this. 4x4 four four from the top. I have 4x4 four four looking at the top. And this is my side version at the moment. Nothing is glued. So this is how it's going to be at the side. And it's going to look like this from the other side. Like this. Okay, so I have fully decorated my stackable locker and I am going to show it to you guys real soon. But before I do that, I would like to mention that I have used also from the October release, the Layering Presents set. It comes with so many different shapes and sizes and layering pieces. This is the stackable locker box, which I did go through in details at the beginning of the video. And I also got to use the truck box card add-on Christmas set. And boy, do I love the size of this gingerbread so, so much. And I am so in love with this long piece here and i'm going to show you which one it is in the truck box card add-on set you also get this christmas light and i have thoroughly loved making these i'm gonna show you all of them so i cut them out in yellow color red and the um, pink and also some glitter pink and hot glitter pink color and things and I have all of these variations. I did have some more, which I did use in my project share. Like this one here is a bit shorter because I have already used parts of it. I really love that so, so much. See, I used the foam and then I backed it with double-sided adhesive tapes and things. And then you get to cut out the Christmas light all in one go. So you can just use your tweezer to get that out and stick it onto those pieces. And it's just been so wonderful. The truck add-on set also gives you like lollipop add-on pieces and candy cane layering pieces. So I used the same method of the adhesive sheets at the back and I just cut them out and use tweezers to get them out. And it just makes crafting so much fun and faster process. I absolutely love doing that. The truck add-on set gives you gingerbread and the size is so wonderful to layer 
and to decorate. You will get to see more of these gingerbread throughout my other videos. It also gives you this perfect size Christmas tree. I've cut them out in several different pattern paper. This one has been used with the metallic sheet. It's a metallic material sheet that I backed onto the foam to give it a bit of dimension and different interesting look. So I have used some of these as well. The um, set also gives you like lollipop pieces that you can make into many different versions. So you've got that peppermint candy type and you also get the spiral lollipop version as well. So fun. It's just such a fun set to have. Even if you don't have the trucks, truck box card um, set, it is a wonderful set to have. With the layering presents, I have made many varieties. Super fun, very addictive. It's just been so fun. You can pretty much use your scraps of paper even because of the sizes that you're cutting out. I mean, we all end up having like long strips of papers and things, right? You never chuck those out. And all of the stitch details that you get as well. You even get these tiny bows. These bows are all included. And look at that bow detail, so pretty. I also have some of these ones here. Look at that. So you get cylindrical ones, you get square ones. Um, some of these I haven't completed yet, but I thought I'd show you. This one is half done. I use the holographic cardstock and a pattern paper to make this one here. All I need to do is add on some more pieces to the top to complete it, or I can use it as a embellishment base. This one, look at that bow detail, isn't that pretty? You also get pieces like these in the set, and I think it's magnificent. I love it so, so much. You get bigger piece as well. So this is the size that can be layered onto this size here, like this, if you wanted to. So fun. And it gives you two different sizes of the bow and you get little detail bows like that. I love all of my little presents that I have here. That's a puffy sticker. And I get to use all of these in the future. So let me show you my completed project. I am going to quickly show you like this and I will also do a video where I will show you of close up. Um, one thing I didn't mention is about the locker. This is where this locker, so there's two different types of the locker part and I cut them out and I just didn't glue it. I didn't glue it at all. What I did was I used a brad, so let me show you. So you know when, you turn, when you're trying to open a locker, you have to turn something? Well, I decided to use that method. See, you can just use your nail to do that, and then use that star brad as the doorknob. Hold on, it is a little bit fiddly. Doorknob to open, and it looks like this. So you also get these, in, uh, these pieces here, these corner pieces to add to your front part so that the door doesn't go right into the box. And Hannah uses magnet pieces, but I don't have those tiny magnet pieces. So I decided to search for what I have and I ended up using these glittery star brands. I um, absolutely love the fact that I didn't have to glue that down, but instead I can use this with the bread to just do this to close it. Just have to use your, see, it goes like that. And then it closes and it looks like a proper locker. I think that's really fun. And I decorated it with the building piece that's also included in the locker set. I double layered it using the pink pearlescent and the pattern paper that's gold foiled, as you can see. The gingerbread and the candy cane and the tiny bow comes with the truck box card add-on set. And this is from the uh, layering present set. Look at all my layering presents and the different swirl lollipops from the truck box set. 
These are the toy cards that are included in the locker box set. And I also used parts of the, the Christmas light here. See? I used two buildings from the locker box set. And I also added some puffy snowflakes. And then on here, I've got two different styles of the presents. Here I have um, two Christmas trees layered beside each other and I decorated using the Christmas lights. Here are more stacked presents. And this side has the Christmas tree again with the peppermint candy as instead of a star for the top of the tree, I added two peppermint candy bits. Those are included in the trap box set. And here are more of my beautiful Christmas gifts. I absolutely love this, you guys. So remember, um, this is just a fun project. And I did it with eight locker. But if you want to make this bigger, you can even do 12. So add on like, you know, a couple more onto the side. I mean, the option is endless. And you can make many of these locker boxes to just stock it into a large gift box i think the options endless there's so many things you can do with this set i really love all of the little elements that i have added and yeah that's my messy desk that you are seeing and i will just show you all of the other little bits that I have ready to be used for my other future projects. And that there is the 3D Christmas tree I have made prior.